Hello and welcome to Tuesday Talk. I'm going to be doing something a little weird tonight, but then again, you've probably gotten used to that. Um, I am going to be painting my purse. <laughs> I like this purse a lot. It just suits my needs. You know, little backpack style, but it has room for my stuff in here. Plus, I can carry it like this. Plus, I can carry it as a backpack, or I can use these straps and put it over my shoulder. So, the thing is, it's this beigey color, and it's really not too bad, um, but I do have, now I can't find it, but I had a little spot, and that kind of drives me crazy when I can't get a little stain out. But it's not really the color... For the season i guess so i'm gonna go a little darker with it it's a nice purse it's a rosetti and it's going to take a lot of um detail painting but i'm going to use dixie bell silk mojave and then i'm going to attempt to put uh, a paint inlay an iron orchid design paint inlay in it so you're going to want to watch and we'll get started painting here. So I have a detail brush and I have a little bit larger brush. And I think between the two of them, we'll get the job done. <laughs> so again, this is called Mojave. And I think it needs shook up a little bit. Have to be careful doing this. I've never, never had an accident yet, but you never know when that's going to happen, right? Okay, that looks a lot better. Nice and thick. I love this paint, and I love this color. I didn't even take the stuff out of my purse. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my detail brush first and cut in around these edges. And, you know, it's going to be a little challenging with the zipper and everything, but I feel confident that, um, that I'll be able to do it. I'm not a taper. <laughs> My husband always thinks that I should tape everything off when I paint, but I don't do that. Um... Most painters don't that do paint for a living. <laughs> um, I'm going to also go here around my edges. So I don't really want to hit the zipper, um, like the, the coils on the zipper or the fabric on the zipper. We're just going to kind of make that contrast a little bit. So once I get some of these detailed areas, then I can use... Um, my bigger brush. So, did you guys happen to see the Halloween challenge videos? So, if you're local to Altoona, Pennsylvania, then my video um, told the story of the White Lady of Wapsie. So, you'll have to watch and listen to the story because it's a, been a long standing tale in our area. Um, interesting story because it almost, you know, sounds like there's, there's fact based to it or alleged. <laughs> um, so the challenge was hosted by Lovely Jubbly Furniture. That's Meg. And there are some awesome videos in there. So you're going to want to watch the playlist. So in the description box of my video, I shared the playlist with you and also in the comments for my video. So yeah, check it out if you haven't already. Okay, I think I can switch over in this section to my bigger brush safely and cover a good bit of real estate here. This is uh, that there's a little like leather tab around that metal plate. 
I'm probably going to do two coats. Well, I'm definitely going to do two coats because, as I mentioned, I'm going to attempt a paint inlay from Iron Orchid Designs on this. And um, you have to have wet paint in order to do that. So um, I, I don't think I'm going to be doing the whole thing. Just Just want to try it and do a little bit of it. So I think so far that looks pretty darn good. <laughs> so I'm going to continue and I'll come back and then we'll talk about that paint inlay. So I have put a good bit of paint on here. And as you can see, there's some areas that aren't completely covered. I ended up doing the zipper after all. It works just fine and it looks much better. So, um, I'm glad <laughs> that I decided to do that. So I still have some more touch up to do, like you can see underneath there I need to get. And the straps were a little challenging to paint. Um, you can see on the ends there I need to get. I didn't realize that until I saw it on the camera. So um, basically though, I'm at the point where I'm gonna select the paint inlays that are gonna go on top of here. So I have the Chateau set, okay? I have used this before, and if you are new to paint inlays, they're by Iron Orchid Designs, and they're sheets of paper where the paint is embedded inside the sheet of paper. So you lay them uh, paint side down in wet paint, and then you let it dry, and then you peel it back up uh, after wetting the sheet again, and then the paint remains. Now they are reusable. It depends on the look you're going for and what you've done with them already as to the results that you're going to get after the first use. But I kind of like that really distressed, uh, faded, worn look that you get after every uh, application. So we're going to go through and make some selections and um, go from there here. So one thing I haven't used before is there's parts of it where there's deer. <laughs> so I haven't um, used these deer. Now, obviously, that's not that's two back ends of a deer. <laughs> um, they've been cut. So um, I might use that in the design just because I haven't used it yet. So mine, like I said, I have used on a desk and on a chair. Um, so there's a lot that's been used. So, but here's uh, totally unused and these scraps are great um, for, for the purse, you know, just that size of a project. But I love the colors and I think they're going to go great with this Mojave color. So maybe I'll use that, but let me see if I can find the other part of the deer. That's really pretty. I was going to use the chintz because that's my fave. Um, okay, so... Huh. That's more deer parts. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, now here's another little strip that's been cut off but never used. Now, here's what it looks like after you've used it. So, I used this with dried sage paint before. So, if I use this one again, you're going to get a little bit of that paint that's been used before. So, I'm just going to set those aside. And I'm not saying I won't use them, but I want to take a look at all my options before I make a decision. So, because that hasn't been too well, too badly used, and I think... Um, the little bit of paint that's on there wouldn't hurt anything. Um, this is pretty too because you've got that big uh, part of the chain or the beads that are in there. I like that too. So I haven't, I'm going to kind of put that sideways aside. Okay, so here's some more that's um, really, I, uh, I don't know if this has been used at all or not. It looks like it was, but not maybe that successfully. This is one where there's kind of like a fountain and then this is part of a swag. So let's see what else I've got here. It's just They put blank sheets in between them. Okay, so here's the other half of this one. I'm just going to kind of put this together. So I have both of my paint sides. Why is this not matching up? You know, it's so weird. I know I'm working on my purse, but I have it laying on the table. And, you know, my mom <laughs> would never like purses on tables. So um, I guess that's kind of distracting me. It's like my purse is in my way. <laughs> okay, so see how these two went together? So that's a little bit of a possibility as well. So many choices here. Um, but I think that what I'll do, starting to 
formulate decisions. So this has been used before too on the desk that I did with the dried sage. So I don't think I'm going to use those. I think I'll save those for a bigger project. And even these, as much as I'd like to use those, I think I'm going to work with the scraps just because it's a smaller, um, a smaller piece. So I am I'm still, still can't get the whole deer. Oh, here's his head. Okay. So there's his head. Let's see. He's still missing legs, right? So, boy. <laughs> I've got that. I really feel like I'm failing at anatomy here, deer anatomy. Boy. Okay, so I think that goes like that. I don't know. Um, I don't. I still don't want to mess around with the deer. Is that wrong? <laughs> I'm just not going to. It's my project, right? It's my purse. I'll do it how I want. That's the way I want you to feel when you're doing projects. You know, there's no wrong or right. People that do YouTube, I guess, get a lot of flack about painting furniture that people consider antiques. There's a lot of things they don't consider when they, they say those things, but... Anywho, I digress. Do what you want is what I'm saying. When you have a piece of furniture, do what you want. Obviously, if it's a big valuable something, uh, but chances are if you bought it on Facebook Marketplace or found it on a corner, then it's not all that uh, valuable or it's, or it's in really bad shape. Okay, end of rant. Okay, so I have this whole back. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. So I have this whole back side, which is pretty big. So I think maybe we could work this in there. And right now I'm just going to kind of hold it up for size and just cut a little bit off the bottom. So um, they have grid lines on there, so that's very helpful. And this pattern doesn't really have to make sense. It's not like we're putting it together on this big piece of furniture or anything. So um, again, this will lay paint side down. So this is just about the right size for the back of the purse. So I'm happy with that. And then we have this area here. So rather than try to compete with this, the hardware, uh, there's this piece that has uh, these flowers. So we can kind of reorient the position of that and put it coming down. Then it doesn't interfere. So I like that. And I'm just going to cut it off over here, kind of give it that curve, although you won't see all that. Oh boy. Yeah. Always want to lay it paint side down. <laughs> so same thing, just reversed. So I like that because there's a seam back here. So we'll just start that right at the seam. I'm getting excited. And then I think this, um, so we'll have that there. I think this flap maybe, and then this, is, and then that's probably it maybe, but I'm gonna set these ones aside. Um, this little swirl I think would be cute maybe right there. How about that? See how quickly you can make these decisions. You know, when you're using scraps, it's just like kind of really interesting. So I'm even going to kind of keep some of that floral bit there. Okay, so that'll go that way. And we need something a little small-ish for here. And here's a little bit of floral here. Um, we can kind of put it down here, maybe. Or maybe we can put it down here and have the pocket um, come over it. So, you know, whatever we do, it's it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't, I'm not really digging that though. Um, what about that on there? And then maybe we can convincingly match this up a tad or not, or fake it. Yeah, let's fake it, okay? <laughs> um, so this, I should be writing on the backs of these, which they're for, I'm just setting them aside, but I think I'll be able to figure it out. Okay, so that was for the flap and then this is for the bottom part. So, and my dog is probably wanting out. So you may be hearing from Grizz soon. He knows what I'm talking about him too. Okay, so there's that. And then we do have a couple more opportunities over here. And you know what, maybe we can do just something like that. Kind of like that. It's so pretty over here though, too. So let's do it. Let's just do it. I think I'll remember. Okay, and then over here, I love these beads too. So let's do that. Okay, I'm sold. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so what we have to do is wet this paint again. Now, I'm going to probably have to do this in part 
So again, I have a lot of touch up to do, which I will come back and do later. But I'm focusing right now on the um, on getting the paint inlays in. And I'm going to take a break and let my dog out. Be right back. And we're back. So if we hear any barking, we'll know what's going on. Okay, another thing I want to do here is I want to lightly sand this. I just want to make sure that everything's going to stick. So that's why we're doing that. Okay. And shaking my paint again. So no one is going to have a purse like mine. <laughs> no one. I'm going to take my larger brush because I'll just do those touch-ups last. Okay. Basically, I just want to get a good surface to lay that paint inlay in. So I left the stuff in my purse just so it would be nice and solid, you know, have a good solid surface to... Uh, to work against to lay these uh, inlays in. Plus, I just thought it would be easier. I might be wrong, but <laughs> okay. Um, normally, if that was just a regular coat of paint, I would say yes, that's good. But I want to make sure that it's good and wet so that my inlays take. And I, with silk, I don't want to use water with it. So, Okay, so I have this piece that I'm going to use in the back. And remember, you want to lay the paint side down. So the other side's dull. So um, just keep that in mind. And the only space I'm worrying about is at the bottom. So I'm just going to lay this down in here and flatten it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Wrinkly is fine with me. I mean, you get a better image when it's not. But wrinkles, I think, kind of make it look distressed. Because obviously it makes a little bit of an interruption in the paint. So you can either use a wet rag or you can mist it. I have a, a mister bottle here and um, I just use the mister. That's my preferred method. You can sort of see what it's going to look like when you do this because you can see the color through it. But then I do take a wet or do take a, a cloth then and just kind of dab it. You just want to make sure that even if you get wrinkles, you just want to make sure that you're um, creating contact with this inlay so that it's going to... Um, stick, not stick because it's not a sticker, but so that the paint activates with the wet paint underneath it. The paint on the uh, inlay activates with the wet paint. I hope that really makes sense. So, because the more you understand the process, then the better results I think you'll get because you know kind of intuitively what how to use it. So, you know, I've, trust me, watch some of my videos <laughs> that I've used them on, and you can see the mistakes that I've made and learn from them, so you won't make them. Okay, so these last couple pieces were for the side pockets. So because this is um, going to have to dry, I'll work on the sides just because... Um, see how pretty that is going to be? Oh, I'm really excited and glad I decided to do this. So I'm going to, because I can stand it up, I'm going to work on those pieces too. So let me get um, another coat of paint on here. And again, I'll come back in with that small brush. Even though I'm not going to put um, the inlay on this section here, I'm still going to paint it because I'm going to take advantage of being here with the brush and <laughs> might as well save some time, right? Okay, so again, I want to get that area. I forgot to sand this. Oh well, we'll uh, I think we'll be okay. Remind me to sand. I guess you can't, can you? In our old life way, you, you could, <laughs> but... Um, I kind of like this way better because you're getting a better quality video and I can take my time with them. Okay, so I'm going to take this bead one and I just want to make sure it's down at the bottom. Or actually, let me kind of start this one at the top of this pocket. Okay, lay that in there. It's kind of weird because I'm working this way, but this way I can get more on here at once. Okay. Okay, so we have that on there. Now let's come over to the other side because I have selected this little piece for that side and I'm going to remember to sand this time. I just want to rough up that surface because I don't want these designs to go anywhere because don't forget, I'm not putting a sticker on. I am painting. This This is paint. So, um, And I do want to be careful when I do this so that the pieces that I already have 
um, on there. I don't want to be painting over those edges because I don't want it to be difficult to pull up. It's the first time I, well, one of the times that I did it, I kind of, like when you do decoupage, you use your sealer right over the, the image. And I kind of forgot that I wasn't doing decoupage and I started to put the paint right over it. <laughs> so don't do that. Okay, so we have our paint on there. And I kind of want this to go downwards. So I'm going to start this image up here and get a little bit of that floral on there. So, okay, that looks pretty good. Wet it down. I hope that this dries and everything um, before I go out today. Um, actually, so I'm at home and I don't have my um, easy peasy spray wax from Dixie Bell here. So what I'll do is before I go out, I plan, I'm planning on stopping at my shop anyway. So um, I'm just going to, when it's all done and dry, I'm going to give it a spray of easy peasy spray wax to seal it. Okay. Or you could use a liquid sealer if you wanted to do that. I think either way would be fine. Now I'm going to watch this back part here as I <laughs> manipulate this that I don't, you know, let it lose contact here. So I just want to make sure it's staying down. This is so cool. Okay. Now I uh, picked this image for the top. So now we're going to remove all of these little pieces and check out the magic. At least we hope for magic. <laughs> so I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to re-wet the paper. The reason I do that is so that I don't tear it when I peel it and it peels up easily. So don't forget that um, the paint reactivates when it's wet. So even before I spray wax on this, I'm going to spray it with a sealer so that I don't have to worry about losing my images. Okay, I want to get these corners wet because that's kind of what holds it up. So let me, I'm going to go from my end because it's closest to me. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Okay, I guess we're all right. I was thinking it was pulling up paint, but it's just the distressed look of the um, paper. So I'm gonna lay that aside, upside down to dry, so that I can use it again. Okay, um, looks cool. We'll pull the screen up again when we're done peeling these all. Okay, I'll get this side over here. Oh my gosh, I love it. I just got a new purse and I didn't spend any money on it. Well, okay, I spent money on it once. And I bought these, tr these um, yeah, <laughs> paint inlays, couldn't say it, but I mean, this is what, the third time I've used them now, so I think that's a good deal. <sighs> Love that. Like I said, you can see my panic the first time when I pulled it up and I saw these white spots, I thought it pulled up my paint, but that's just uh, part of the design. It's like part of the distressing. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I mean, normally, it's one thing when I say I like my projects, but when it's mine, um, I guess I'm kind of excited because I feel like I got something new. So I'm going to take this front off here. So I guess I have the same feeling I get when I shop. Shopper's euphoria, you know, when you're in a good mood, when you just bought something, even though you're poor now. <laughs> I always laugh whenever you go to, well, Kohl's is a good example. They'll always say, you saved, and then they circle how much you saved. But then I'm thinking, wait a minute, why does it feel like I just spent X amount of dollars? <laughs> More so than I saved it. Oh, well. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so look how pretty that is. I am so loving this. So I changed my mind about placement, and I put this little bit there, which didn't really transfer very well. Okay, well, that's all right. We'll just paint over things that don't work out. Maybe it wasn't quite dry. Anyway, it looked cute, like, coming out of there, but it didn't want to stay there, so we won't force it. <laughs> okay, the only part that I don't like is that one spot that didn't really come out very well. I like this over here. This, like, the little beads. Let's peel that up and see what we've got. cool. <laughs> Are we loving this or what? I mean, am I just loving it? I think it looks way better than it did before. So now I'm just going to kind of go around with my detail brush and just 
touch up all those little spots and then we'll carry on from here. came to my shop to finish up the video. So that is it, my friends. I love my new purse. <laughs> and um, maybe you can consider livening up something in your wardrobe as well. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next Tuesday.